Hi everyone, welcome back to the Chen Chi channel where we discuss everything related to power. In today's video, we'll explain what are battery protection circuit boards and we'll guide you to finding the right one for your DIY project. Let's get started. What is a PCB or PCM? A battery protection circuit board or module, often called PCB, PCM, or PCBA for short, is an electronic system that usually manages a small lithium-based rechargeable battery pack. It monitors the battery pack's condition and provides protection from some common issues such as overdraining, overcharging, or overcurrent. A PCB or PCM is often considered a heart of a lithium battery pack because without it, the pack can get damaged or even cause a fire or explode. How to choose the right PCB? When choosing a PCB, you'll first need to get one that matches the series count or the voltage of the battery pack since it will have different configurations depending on the series count voltage. For example, if the battery pack you're building has three cells in series, or often known as 3S with a nominal voltage of 11.1 volts, you should choose the PCB that has 3S or 11.1 volts in its description, like these. To narrow it down further, we'll need to look into the operating current of the battery capability or the application. It's often indicated as the maximum continuous current that the application will draw from the battery and the PCB should be able to deliver the same operating current that the application requires. An important thing to note here is that the PCB will not increase your battery pack's operating current capabilities. Continuing with the previous example, we currently have four options to choose from. Let's say the battery needs to provide a continuous current of 5 amp for a portable drill. Hence, the PCB needs to have an operating current of 5 amp or higher. With that, we can discard these two because the working current is only 3 amps. We're left with two options. If your application doesn't need an inrush current, then either of these PCBs should work for your battery pack. However, if the application has an inrush current, we'll have to look into the inrush cutoff current for these PCBs. Inrush current, also known as input surge current, is the maximum current drawn by a device when it is initially turned on. This occurs in milliseconds. If it runs at the current for a few seconds or more, that is no longer considered inrush, but operating current. It can be twice or five times higher than a normal operating current. If the PCB specification has a cutoff current rating lower than the inrush current of the device, it can trigger the PCB to cut off the load every time the device is turned on. Users can tell if the PCB has been triggered by measuring the pack voltage with a multimeter, and it will read 0.0, .0 volts. Simply put it on the charger for a few seconds would release the PCB. So in this case, the application is a portable drill that has an inrush current of 15 amps. Then my option would be narrowed down to only this PCB with a cutoff current of 17 amps, which is higher than drill's inrush current. You'll need to pay more attention to the PCB cutoff current when building lithium battery packs for devices that have an inrush current such as power tools, air pumps, drones, RC cars, and so on. After that, you can further check to see if the PCB has other features that you want to have, such as short circuit protection, temperature protection, or cell balancing. These are optional features, but good to have. And that's it. We hope you find this helpful. Again, if you can't find a PCB that works with your battery pack, we highly suggest against building it or at least putting it off until you find one. A lithium battery pack without a PCB or BMS can be very dangerous. You can also reach out to us directly for help. If you have any questions, feel free to let us know in the comment section down below. Don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel to see more content related to Tenergy Power.